hi cancer here's a general look at your solar chart for March 2009 well I think there may have been a lot going on under the surface during the last few weeks but you're now on the upward incline and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and you'll be picking up speed as you get into the second week of March and by the beginning of the third week you'll be on track again and flying forwards with a strategy aimed to get you where you want to go. <laughs> so um, for those of you who may have felt in the doldrums over February, March is going to put some rocket fuel in your tank and it's up to you to decide which direction you want to point yourself in. Or it will be. Now, many of you will have increased contacts with those at a distance over March. Some of you will be traveling to maybe an exotic location or maybe meeting an exotic foreigner where you, right in your own backyard. Or maybe you will just be linking with others um, in, in distant places uh, and are not moving very far away from home. But the overall feeling is uh, especially after mid-month, is very expansive cancer and it's lighter and more outgoing um, than recently. And you'll feel, you know, a kind of a power flooding back into you, lifting your mood and your enthusiasm will return. And of course, we're coming into the beginning of spring as well, so it couldn't be better timing. So as the month kicks off, um, yeah, others may have been bugging you and you may have felt got at a little bit by someone. However, don't be fooled or allow your feelings to be hurt, particularly around about the fifth. Things won't appear as they really are. Or uh, should I also say around the ninth as well? The fifth, you may get something of a surprise, uh, which could give you some insight or give you that kind of cosmic aha moment. Um, it could be linked to foreign lands, actually, um, this thing on the fifth. So it's more, it's more the eighth on the, uh, on the eighth, and in, in particular the ninth too. Um, just rely then, even though things might not appear quite as they really are on the ninth, um, just trust uh, that intuitive uh, instinct that you have, that gut, gut instinct um, on that day. So uh, you could, yes, uh, be feeling a little bit down in the dumps around the 8th and the 9th because on the 8th there's something there that could come in to kind of block you. You could be getting mixed messages or somebody may have taken the wrong way something that you said. Somebody may have got it, got the wrong end of the stick. Could be you. But like I say, once again, you know, rely on that primordial, primitive, famous sixth sense that you have to intuit what's really happening and try not to get emotionally sucked in. Now on the 12th there may be an unexpected uh, contact with a foreigner or you connect with um, faraway places again there and you'll have an experience which could open a new door for you. Um, maybe now or open a new door for you for the future or maybe it's going to open a door now give you an idea give you a line of thinking to go off on and and then that will be opening a door for you in the future now um you know for the beginning of this month as well you probably be preoccupied with your um matters around security that's money of course that's property that could be possessions and it all could also could be uh, joint resources shared with somebody else you know you rely on this agency or this person but at the same time there's a little bit of a a reluctance there in you um, but you kind of are kind of stuck with it um, and that uh, once again that feeling that sort of inner um, tension, um, emotional tension, that, that's going to be lifted away uh, by mid-month, so that's good news. And then when uh, the sun moves into your professional 
area uh, your area of worldly goals and ambitions on the 20th then from then on you may feel more on show you may feel that it's important to be on show to, to do something with your image um, to change it maybe or to um, you know just kind of uh, um, get scrubbed up a bit <laughs> um, maybe you know you really want to be putting your best foot forwards there you want to present yourself in the best light possible uh, so presentation is going to be key to that phase there coming up to a certain standard will be important too uh, maybe you're applying for something then now i think you're going to be learning a lot this month learning through doing as you're going along but also you know, a, 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 it's a possibility that a teacher or, or, or an expert or a mentor or a guide figure could cross your path in the month of March, particularly um, from the 9th uh, and also um, really, really quite a lot more strongly from uh, mid-month. It could be that you get a visit or you go and visit somebody in a faraway place too, uh, and on on the road and on the way, oh, and when you get there, you know, you get that slant on things that you need, so that you get that piece of the puzzle that you need um, from somebody who is, as I say, at a distance, or somebody who is got a knowledge uh, which is different to to you know what you know at the moment. So it could be somebody from a foreign culture. It is said that you need to travel away from home maybe sometimes to just get a perspective on things. So it could just be the act of taking yourself out further away from your circumstances or, or make that change, you know, and um, be getting into a new field of interest. Uh, it's likely to be successful if you do and it's likely to be interesting. Um, mentally stimulating will engage your attention and take you out of yourself and on the 27th and the 28th cancer uh, you're likely to be getting the backing and the recognition for your efforts um, that you deserve uh, and positive feedback from someone who matters to you uh, perhaps somebody in a position of authority uh, someone who, who can help you to realize your ambitions and your goals. Well, that's it for March. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too. <laughs>